Fort Garvippy over here by the fiberglass cow in the sky, Yellow Spring, Ohio, Young's Dairy on a very busy mid uh, October day, Saturday, about 2 30 in the afternoon. There's two, uh, this one goes by my house once in a while. And they show them, and you can see, um, I'm seeing a good turnout on the 50 something or other Chevys here today. This one is actually a friend of mine, I get it mixed up with his old car, and it could be his old car. Um, uh, the beautiful jade and emerald green convertible Mercury 1940, a pre-war. It's out of Beaver Creek, Ohio, which is Dayton. Um, air ride, four-wheel disc, beautiful 40 Mercury. Unique color combination. A mountain black. A royal blue, which was super popular color to the period. Yeah, 1930 was a very good year, and it is a 30. Wow, huh? A 30 hunt mobile, guys. It's a Honda. The Robin's Egg Blue, this guy, I mean, this thing is so freaking, like, wild, you know, I mean, you go to 20 foot, this has got to be 22 feet. It looks like 24 feet, okay? Which, 20 is kind of the, this is very sought after of car right here. It's, they would pester you if you own this. This is the one everyone aspires to have. It has the back seat up. This is our little photographer guy. It looks like that. It's a turbo in here, guys. Dude, the turbo he's got back here. Kind of brings the exhaust up and back in. But it's not going back into the air, is it going into the intake? It's, it's feeding in under the carby, shooting it back in, almost supercharger-ish. That would be a supercharger then, possibly. 289. Unique turbocharge from the factory in 1967. Isn't that crazy? That's pretty sick right there. Huh. So possibly a special vehicle team experimental car right here, which adds so much more to these guys are from over home. I think Plain City, Columbus. I've got a low car key. Yeah, and the other guys across from here. So here we go into 75 or 6, the bandit car. 78, clear up into 78, so that'll be the last year. The 78, it has the honeycomb wheels. And yeah, they only had the fiberglass here. That's how they did, yeah, and the fiberglass wrap around. It's a hard top. Talk about thought after in the 60s, these ones, the 70s. So, these were later. Uh, it kind of bothers me, I can't remember where the Delta is. It's for sale, the, the S10. A brown thing. Those are built in St. Louis, across the river there. The gas. A big block. It's a Lincoln engine. Look at that Lincoln engine. A 460. Kind of a movie set car, isn't it? From the movie, yeah. American Graffiti car. Okay. Uh, it shows up. Huh. Oh, 
Awesome, awesome show today. Yeah, the weather. Yeah, it's no, I needed it, man. All that negative energy from the week, man. Oh, it was like yeah. I needed it. That's, that's cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Huh? I got chills looking at stuff sometimes. <laughs> it's just the people want to. You could see the goosebumps on me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Nice ladies. The fuel injection. I don't want to get sidetracked. It's a long way to the end. The 50 49er from Urbana. seen those guys in the summer when it's hot and they got the air conditioning on and everything. It's a really quiet car. The Cuda. Forty Cornet RT Newer Mopar Imaginary Love Beautiful Rose. Made it to the oh, end, guys. So, uh, another emerald green with some jade and a wagon oh, with some texture going on. Electronics, chrome, extensively. I like Dick Ryman's breaking up up with there. Uh, it's a Chevy Impala. About the mid 60s, mid to late 60s, with some airbrushing. It's a very cool Mustang. Yep. Customs. And some uh, interesting uh, engine configurations. Over here at the Teacher's Car Show, Young's Dairy. Um, Yellow Spring, Ohio. Boat Rider Rippy, thank you. Over by the pumpkin patch. Middle of October. The final car show of the year. 2022. Thanks again.